What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on the video today, what I wanna focus on with you guys is how to take somebody that has overly processed blonde. Like I think we're guilty in the salon sometimes of over highlighting, just keep it going. Everybody just wants to be blonde, but really taking that overall picture of a blonde, that canvas that you created, and then adding dimension, toning it down a little bit, bringing it back to a beautiful, natural looking blonde. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna showcase this brand new color from Joyco, which I'm really excited to show you guys. So this is a new color series from Joyco Lumishine. This is Youth Lock. So it's gonna give you 100% gray coverage. And also check out this right here. This is a built-in bond builder on Joyco's hair color. So check out the Joyco hair color. It delivers two times the shine and you also get that shine for up to 30 washes in between hair color. So Youth Lock basically stands for the fact that it's gonna give you 100% gray coverage, but the reason I love using it on blonde hair is blonde hair is missing pigment as well. So uh, we're gonna use that. So you get 100% gray coverage if you're going for that, but you also uh, can get some beautiful shades, beautiful tones of blonde hair as well. So I hope you guys like this video. Let's get started. Here we go. All right, guys, so for today's video, what I'm going to be doing is mixing up the level 9 and level 10 brand new tone NNG from Joico Lumashine Youth Lock. It's a Repair Plus Permanent Cream Hair Color. I'm going to mix them both with 10 volume. The reason I'm mixing them with 10 volume is we're going to do this as a double process blonde technique. So we already have blonde hair. What I want to do is go in there and create dimension. Uh, what I find uh, happens too much in the salon is that people over process, over highlight hair, it becomes one dimensional blonde uh, with roots. And what I want to do is show you guys how you can really mix up blonde tones, create movement and give a more natural look. So we're starting off obviously with the blonde canvas. Uh, this is about a level nine uh, ish. So the level 10 for me is just going to kind of soften it and the level nine is going to actually deposit that actual tone. So what I do is I create a circle on top of the head and then a zigzag pattern from the parting down to behind the ear. That's going to separate the front and the back. So I got the top sectioned away and then the side sectioned away. And now I go through, I cut a little bit on that top fringe area and I section that away. And then I'm going to draw my zigzag from that point. So the top is completely separate from the rest of the technique. So zigzag through behind the ear, section all that away front and back. So now the key thing here is I want to get the back out of the way. The back's going to be the easiest part. Uh, it's going to be very one level uh, because it's the underneath and the sun doesn't really reach the underneath naturally. What we're going to do here is I want to start by painting a deeper root on the underneath section here. So I'm doing the 9NNG on the root, pulling it through slightly to mid shaft in some areas, but just painting that nice uh nice and saturated on the technique first. So I do the roots first, then I go in and I paint everything onto the ends after that. What I'm going to paint onto the ends is the 10 NNG. So I'm creating multi-dimension. Now my thought process on this is that I want to pop that brightness on the ends around the face. That's also where the sun hits the face. So for me, I always think about hair color that way. Where does the sun reach it? Where would it naturally be the lightest? So underneath, obviously at the root, it's going to be a little deeper. Now uh, on the ends and on this section here, I'm going all 10 NNG. So a level 10 softening the whole thing, not having a deeper root because naturally you don't have to have a deeper root on the top of the head. That would be where somebody that's naturally blonde, it would be the brightest. So 10 NNG all the way through that section. So I'll paint that through, work it all the way to the end, scalp to ends, and then here's where uh, things get a little bit interesting as well. Um, not that complicated, but where they change a little bit. I'm going to go um, 9 NNG on the root on this on the left side, which I'm about to get to. But for this first piece, what I wanted to do is create 10 NNG all the way through it because that's what's going to lay to the left side of her head. And then everything underneath, I'll go 9 NNG on the base and then 10 NNG through the mid shaft to ends. So just mixing it up a little bit, I obviously know that hair that's on the top, it's exposed to the sunlight, it's going to be the lightest, and then everything underneath is going to be a little bit deeper. So that's how I work through it. So just painting everything through, uh, working that base color, and then going in at the very end, and I'll paint mid shaft to ends and work my way through. Um, so I like to do the base first. I, I just feel that it's easier for me to keep it organized, and really I'm just kind of trying to overall tone the mid shaft to ends so I don't need to take small sections through there depending on the situation. But in this situation, I feel that way. 
Now the back, I'm going to go all 9NNG. It's all underneath. It's all going to be the deepest tone. And I really want those highlights to pop through the top um, when they fall over the 9NNG. So understand, guys, that a level 9, level 10 is not that different, but it is different. So that's why I like mixing it up and using it. This is a quick technique that you should do very fast. Um, you could even bring a client out and if you don't feel like you need to blow them dry and then apply this technique, then just do it on the wet hair. Comb it through really nice, detangle it, and then work your way through fully um, on the wet hair and you can have the same technique. So last little bit, I go roots, 9 NNG, um, and then mid shaft to ends, I go 10 NNG. I wanted to have a little bit of depth towards the back. So brightest around the face, a little bit of depth at the root towards the top crown. Even though that could be lighter, you could do this all the, the 10 NNG if you want to. But I like having a little bit of depth and movement in the top uh, crown area. And that is the technique. So you can see uh, all the different patterns. You can see the brightness and the depth in the 9 NNG compared to the 10 uh, level 10 process that for 30 minutes and here is the end result so notice how it goes from looking like straw to looking like honey like buttery honey i uh, love this tone this is a brand new tone from joyco so check it out uh, go to joyco.com to check that out uh, thank you so much for watching this video hope you liked it let me know in the comments if you have questions thanks for watching